Hey guys. We've got a keyboard here. And uh, a lot of wires that I don't know about. So, Whisker, take it away. Well, what do you want to explain here? What is it? I mean, it's a keyboard, obviously, but what? It's a synthesizer. It's a synthesizer. We'll play some notes A rudimentary it. one. Yeah. Very nice. Okay, so what's what's making the sound? Uh, right now, what's making the sound is the headphone out mm -hmm. on this microcontroller's board, mm -hmm. and we're just turning the left and right channels on and off. I see. Um, one of the channels is doing the root, uh -huh. one of the channels is doing the seventh, or the octave above, I forget which one it's on at the moment. So I've got harmonic. different, yeah, a okay. harmonic anyway. So how, I mean, how is the sound getting there? To like, where? In other words, what is this thing? Oh, what's this? This is what's scanning the keys to see which ones are pressed. Okay, so then what are those chips in the middle there? Those are serial registers. And we got, let's see. Shift registers? Shift registers, what are yeah. those? Uh, basically, they'll take uh, a set of eight ones and zeros of switches, like on and offs, mm -hmm. and they'll daisy chain up through and turn all of those ones and zeros into a stream mm -hmm. of bits, mm -hmm. which the, the microcontroller is pulling through this data cable here. I see. And uh, is it the more you do it, or the more you daisy chain these, the longer that it takes for the stream to? It would. Get? It takes a clock cycle, you know, a serial clock cycle for each bit okay. that you want to pull down that. Okay. But you know that's a heck of a lot faster than the frequency that the notes are playing. So mm -hmm. you know you, it can read those keys faster than the waveforms can change. Okay, so why do you have five of them? Uh, well, there's a lot more than just eight keys on this keyboard, so we needed more than I see. eight on and offs. Okay. And then, okay, I've got a question. What are these uh, orange and blue things? Oh, the resistors? Oh. Yeah. Those are pull-down resistors so that when the key is not being pushed, mm -hmm. the uh, pin there that's, you know, where this... The keys are attached to this chip. Mm -hmm. If it's not attached to ground through a resistor, mm -hmm. it floats and it has a sort of um, voltage that can sometimes mistakenly read as a one instead of a zero. Mm -hmm. So by connecting it to ground through a resistor, mm -hmm. it'll read zero until you put a high voltage to it, and then it'll definitely read high and it'll definitely read low. Mm -hmm. It's just to keep it from floating. So I it's was... called a pull down resistor. Okay. So when we first looked at these, and when I first helped you read these bands, there was something about how the bands of colors on these resistors represented different, I guess, resistance yeah. values. Now, does it matter here that not, they're different? Not really. It's, they just need to be... More than zero. <laughs> they need to be in the range that works well to pull it down, mm -hmm. but not too much and not too little. You know, but that's a very broad, broad range that mm -hmm. that'll work for. You don't have to be too picky about those kinds of things. Okay, so then you're telling me that the keyboard, you press the keyboard, or a key on the keyboard, that sends a signal down, I guess, through that ribbon cable in the it back. It doesn't send a signal. It um, There's a, a positive voltage here mm -hmm. that runs up the ribbon cable and to every single key. Mm-hmm. And then when the key is pressed, it mm -hmm. connects a leaf switch. Mm -hmm. And the other side of that leaf switch is coming back down this cable. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's actually getting a DC voltage coming down here through this plug. And the, that plug splits out to these wires that all feed to the pins. I see. So it's essentially sending power. Yeah. Huh. And those okay. pins are detecting whether or not there's power mm -hmm. on each one. I if see. there is, it considers that key pressed. I see. And this isn't a very complicated, uh, this is not a very complicated um, scanner right now. Mm -hmm. Because if you hold down a low key and you press a higher key, mm -hmm. it just pretends that the low key is no longer pushed. The, the, the key that's highest up mm -hmm. on the, the serial ones and zeros is the only one that it pays any attention to. 
I see. Which can make for some interesting effects, but you know, for the finished product, we're definitely not going to do it that way. Right. So this is just a normal breadboard that you stuck wires into, and then what's that? That's a uh, parallax propeller demo board. Okay. It's got a uh, you know little propeller microcontroller on it and the EEPROM and all that sort of stuff that you need. Okay. Um, here's the same thing, only, you know, the the real deal. Here's a propeller. Okay. There's the propeller on their demo board. There's a full-blown one. And there's the EEPROM over there and the, the USB prop plug, you know, which is built onto this board here. Mm -hmm. Now, this has, like, audio out, video out, um, keyboard, mouse input. You know, you don't have any of that here. Mm -hmm. This is just, you know, doing it straight up. So this is like that precursor or is this, this is, something else? This is connected to the SID chip here. Mm. So instead of controlling just the headphones out, yeah. eventually this serial cable is going to run to this board and oh. this propeller is going to take that, scan the keys, figures out which ones are pressed mm -hmm. and then it's going to use that information to control the SID chip. I see. And once I get that going, more than one SID chip. Right, because we have four, all from different locations, I yes. believe. But I don't know how to design the power supply for the 12-volt side on these SID chips. Okay. So I'm going to need help with that. Help. Fortunately, we have a lot of smart subscribers, and I'm sure somebody will kindly create a nice little video tutorial for how to design a power supply that's regulated and can power four SID chips. Four. Yeah. Sounds good. But everything's all wired up to the right pins and everything, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so what's powering that right now? The uh, uh, this one, uh, the pr parallax. Yeah. I'm just using a little battery pack here and dropping it right across. I'm skipping all of its built-in power regulators and such. And I believe that covers everything. I, I think it is.